Okay, in the last uh, three video, uh, so basically we talked about, uh, you know, three step of three step education funding. So basically we talk about the uh, step one, step two, step three. So also in step three, a lot of times they may ask you different questions. So step one, step two will uh, stay the same. Then the step three, they may, um, they, you know, usually, uh, for financial planning, you would uh, uh, tell clients how much uh, monthly you should uh, save, right? And um, so then um, sometimes if there's a, you know, rich grandparents or, you know, they want to uh, say, I just want to put aside for my grandkid. Uh, so I just put a, a lump sum. So what's a lump sum should I uh, put aside to invest? Uh, so then I can pay my grandkid uh, future education. So that's that's say today you need a lump sum to save, which is the first question. How much lump sum do you then need to save for today? So this is very, uh, so question A. So this one is uh, easy solve. So basically say you can simply do the future amount uh, future amount, I need uh, this much at the beginning of the college. So then I have to, uh, if the investment gave me 8%, so it's 1 plus 8%. So then I discount at, discount for 15 years. So this one is, you can do simple math is, is it 93? Two three three, and divided by um one point zero eight, and uh, two the fifteen. They give you two twenty nine thousand three hundred ninety. This is the amount uh you needed, so for uh well you can use a financial calculator as well is. It's very simple. It's just a side. You know the future. You can, uh, this is one way. This is two way. Future value is equal to 93, 20, 233. That's the future value. Then you have N is equal to 15. I equal interest equal to 8%. So you want to PMT equal to zero, you want to know the future uh, present value. So this is, you can use financial calculator to solve this as well. Nine, three, two, three, three. Then this is future value, then 15, then eight is equal to this PMT. So then we want to compute present value. Is two nine three nine three nine zero. So exactly is the same. So this kind of is a good way for you to double check your, uh, your answers. So, okay, this is the A. Let's do B. B is um. So instead for monthly save at, uh, you know, each month. Sometimes, you know, people will think, oh, I have to put uh, uh, money away every month is a pain in the neck. So can I just uh, do annually? So yeah, it's, it's basically they just say how much do they need to save at the end of the each year for 15 years. So that's the B. So it's very simple. Is future value is 93, sorry, 273. Then, uh, you instead solve for present value is, uh, then interest rate is equal to 8%. So instead you solve for the uh, lump sum, you, you will solve for the annual payment. So, this should be, let's see, 
Nine three two three three. This is future value. One five is a uh, number of payment. Uh, e is interest rate. Then present value equal to zero. You compute. So this give you uh three thousand four hundred thirty three dollar so this is instead if Alison and Brian uh they don't want to save like a monthly uh amount so they instead they want to say I'm just gonna do annually so this is annual amount you need a uh this is per year right it's the annual amount you need to save. Okay, the number C is a little, um, wait till you see. Number C is a little complicated. So basically you can see here, number C, what are they asking? Say how much do they need to save at the end of each year with adjusted inflation? So basically this amount, this is called level payment, which what that mean is you, um, you already, uh, you know, you are, uh, this, this is uh, every year for 15 years, all the amount are the same. The things that they already uh, incorporated the inflation in it. So you don't have to worry about the inflation. So some people just uh, say, you know what, well, I, I really, um, you know, uh, cannot pay, uh, you know, this amount every year. So can you just uh, reduce the inflation amount? I just uh, pay as the inflation goes, right? So, uh, basically, uh, this is how you do it. Is so every year, uh, if they pay annually, every year the amount will be different. So we are solving C. So what are you gonna do is say you have to the future amount, the future amount ninety three, uh, two hundred thirty three. The future amount this is already have inflation in it. You have to take the inflation out of it. So you you have to take inflation out of this. It's ninety three, two three three. Then divided by uh one point zero six, then two z fifteen. So this one give you thirty eight, sorry nine hundred zero three. So what what does this mean? This is say, you know today um this this is a total amount. If there was no inflation. Um, so in the future, uh, in 15 years, 80, uh, before 80 start go to college, so they only needed to save this much. But because it's there was inflation, so their amount increased to 93,233. So that's, that's the difference. This is future value. It is future value, but it's in today's dollar, no inflation in it, which is that mean. So what do they want to do? Say so I just want to use today's dollar. Then it's fifteen years. Then my uh investment, my investment is eight percent. So then I want to find out the annual payment for that. Um. So then the present value equal to zero. So I want to find out the PMT, right? Um. So yes, three eight nine zero three. Then this is your future value. One five is number of the payment. Eight percent is interest rate. Then uh present value equal to present value. Then you compute the PMT. PMT give you one thousand one thousand one um yeah. Okay, let me double check if it's correct. 38903, yeah, 38, this is the future value. Then when five is, and then your interest rate is eight. eight. 
okay uh actually the uh i was wrong you because this is inflation take out this eight percent there's in inflation in it actually you cannot use this one you have to use the inflation adjusted rate i'm sorry so this you have to use inflation adjusted rate times 100 so yeah the the money this amount is not correct so let's do uh three eight nine zero three then it's a future amount uh, yeah one five is and uh, so you have to use this rate 1.08 divided by 1.06 equal to this then minus one then you times 100 equal to this so this is inflation adjusted rate so then present value equal to zero you compute the annual amount yeah this is correct amount so this is two thousand uh two thousand two hundred sixty eight dollar so this is uh annual amount this is there's no inflation on it in it you have to know this is starts today you need to save until like 15 years. So that's it today. Uh, at the end of each year, you have to save. The, the calculation tell you at the end of each year, this is amount without inflation you have to save. But the, for the first year, what's your inflation? First year for your inflation is 6%. So you have to adjust your inflation. So first year your payment is is two thousand two hundred twenty eight then times one point zero six equal to is first year your first year payment is two thousand four hundred zero five. This year you at the end of the year first year the second year basically you have to time this. 1.6 percent so every year you have to inflate your um your uh you know payment so this one uh if the inflation amount is different you can always adjust the say 1.5 percent or 1.4 percent so you can have the flexibility but you have to see you can compare this you can compare this one is lower than this uh, if you already incorporated the level payment, right? Um, so anyway, so this is uh, can be lower at the beginning, but will increase later uh, in the future. So yeah, this is how you calculate. By the way, this is called serial payment, serial payment. Okay.